Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We have our leaders elected over there, our leaders, you know, quote unquote, in order to, in order to make sure that uh, I'm going to live at least uh, as good of a life as uh, I lived when you got into the office. If my life is worse as you are in the office, I will remove you. The problem is I will remove you with another piece of garbage that will pretend is very popular and will do everything we want, which would be, you know, the goal of uh, democracy, the majority rule, supposedly. And when you get over there, you do what you, you are elected to do, not what you are appointed to do or picked up to do. And uh, the case here is that uh, the problem is that the United Kingdom living standards see the worst decline on record after the Second World War. So the Great uh, Britain, the UK, the people, the citizens are seeing a decline never seen before, uh, at least after 1945. And uh, they're still okay, it seems like. But what will they do? Will they do the same thing as the French people did with uh, the pension reform, so-called, which means you're going to work longer hours because we screw up your economy and your lives Therefore, we have to drop it on you. So what would you do? Well, I elected you over there as a government to give me a better life. And you give me a worse life. And then you tell me that because it's a worse life, I have to work harder now and longer and screw my life longer because you're in, 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 in incompetence. In, 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 yeah. Incompetence. Yes, that's exactly what they're saying. And besides, instead of putting this reform, supposedly, at a vote in a parliament, Macron decided that he just going to put my signature in uh, legal, that's legal, per the uh, French constitution, bypasses the Congress, issues, and he makes it, turns in into a, I don't know, law, whatever you want to call it. So that's democracy for you. One person decide for, decided for everybody else, bypassed the other ones that probably would have rejected it. Then you have United Kingdom giving so much aid to Ukraine, and not only, bad decisions, and what are you going to do about it? They're going to make you work harder. I bet. You'll see. Let's see this article coming from The Enemy. And this is uh, Russia Today, obviously, from March 17th, 2023. UK living standards see worst decline on record. So, UK living standards see worst decline on record. Okay, the country is set to avoid a recession, but Britain's face the highest taxes since World War II, an official report shows. Official report shows. Britons are facing the biggest decline in living standards since records began in, 19, in the 1950s. 1950s, not 1945. But the decline, I'm, I don't think in 1945 it was better than 1950, but hey. And the uh, highest taxes since World War II. As the economy grinds to a halt this year, the Office of Budget Responsibility reported on Wednesday. According to the report, real household disposable income, a measure, um, a measure, a measure of real living standards will drop by 5.7% over the financial years 2022 to 2023 and 2023 to 2024. While this is 1.4 percentage points less than forecast in November, it would still be the largest two-year fall since records began in 1956-1957, end quote, the report said. A surge in energy and consumer goods prices triggered inflation, which currently stands above normal wages and has led to a historic fall in disposable incomes, the OBR noted adding that, and I'm quoting, this means the real living standards are still 0.4% lower than their pre-pandemic levels. According to the forecast, living standards will not return to pre-pandemic levels until 2028, and the tax burden remains on course to be the highest since the world, Second World War. So, uh, from, I'm guessing from 2023 to 2028, you guys are going to hate your lives, most of you, uh, most of us probably. 
The UK, and I'm quoting, continues to see the tax burden reach a post-war high of 37.7% of GDP at the for, uh, forecast horizon in 2027-2028, including the highest ratio of corporate corporation tax receipts for GDP since the tax was introduced in 1965. And quote, the watchdog said, the British economy is expected to shrink by 0.2% this year, despite claims by the government that the country is set to avoid a recession. Well, what are you going to do about it? What can you do about it? What can you do and a democratic system do about it? I mean, if we think that this is a real system, then the people who are in charge will say, you know what, I think uh, it's partly uh, because of us. Is there anybody else who would like to try, give it a try, because we kind of failed and you just resign. And then you do something else or you try to be um, helpful in other departments uh, where maybe your uh, skills will be better put at use than the ones that you tried uh, here. But that would be in a uh, real society where people would really care about the welfare of the nation, the state. The nation is better because the nation implies a certain community, a certain tribe. So here we have it. Uh, or you have what we have right now. No, I'm think, I think I'm the best. I got in power. I'm not going to let go. Take me with a chair. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, they will live uh, no more and you have to bear with them until they're going to be a little, you know, some other guys in your proximity will cut your legs. You're going to fall and they s s s climb on top of you, step on top of you. And then there will be another one doing the same thing to them. And instead of being preoccupied with the, you know, the progress and the life, the standard of living and all that, the freedoms that you should enjoy, they are uh, too busy in reaching themselves and staying in power as long as they could, indefinitely, if, if possible. And that's sad, but this is what democracy brought us so far. And remember, we get this democracy not for too long, if you look around the world. It's something that is not uh, old, it's kind of like new. And it's already, the whole cycle is up. That means we have to start over somehow. Well, that's going to be a rupture. How do you produce that rupture? Necessarily, uh, you know, uh, by education, working within the system. The education is not the one that is needed in these times. On the contrary, is the one that is not needed. Um, working with it is within the system, meaning you're going to vote again. Well, okay, you're going to vote again, but you're going to vote for the same uh, garbage again that pretend that they are your friends until you vote for them. And then they're going to get over there and do the same thing. I mean, it, just put this as a business, not a business, as life. Let's put it as a life. I have these glasses. These are my glasses. And I use them to see people, okay? Oh, what's going on, people? So that's, they are, that, that's where they are, my glasses. Now, if I hold them right here and I drop them, probably they're going to scratch or break or they will get hurt, all right? I don't want to do that. But if I do that... That's the consequence of my behavior. So it's my fault that I created this problem. So I should take full responsibility for this. That's how it is in life. If I go outside and I just don't look around before I cross the street and a big bus hits me, it's not that guy's fault necessarily. It's mine. I didn't pay attention. That's what I could control. So that's a consequence of my actions. Okay, I'm going to go. You know, uh, that's a rule for the, for the, for the how I, of nature. Now, these guys are, are not following that, that rule. If you go and work for someone or you have your own business, your decisions will affect your well-being and so on, your, your life, your whatever. There will be consequences. No consequences for these guys. The only consequences that can come, come, can come, yes, can come or you know, appear will, uh, will be will result coming from other weasels. They're going to try to move them out. Not that they are better. They want this. That's what they want. And that's not how a, uh, a, a nation will prosper. And instead, I mean, especially now, when you can't really go and uh, grab certain uh, products or certain, uh, how do you call those, uh, natural resources from another country. You can't do that anymore. So you've got to produce something. 
So if you don't go to a colony and suck their resources cheap and you can, uh, you know, uh, progress economically, then what are you going to do? You bomb Russia and you get its resources somehow. That's a good idea. But the resources will be distributed by the strongest. Uh, I don't know if you uh, watch, you know, Animal Planet or things like this where you see the lion. The lion shows up, let's say the pack of, uh, I don't know, pack of wolf, I don't know how you call them. Uh, it's called somehow in English, we can't use different uh, words for a lioness. Well, a group of lion, I don't know how you call it. But anyway, you know, a group of lionesses, they kill up some gazella or something, or a uh, buffalo, let's say. And then they eat, they eat. When the lion shows up, everybody moves aside. And he is eating and he allows left and right until he fills his belly. He's not going to allow others to, to, to uh, feed with him. Sometimes he do. the belly gets bigger, he is more, you know, okay. But he's going to allow him, uh, her, 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 her to feed. The, uh, the jackals will be over there, the vultures will be circling, you know, and you're going to be the one. This is United States of America. That's going to be Russia, and it will be the weasel countries that are Poland, Baltic Sea countries, Romania, Czech Republic, France, Great Britain. They will stay over there until this guy eat, and then get, 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 finish eating. And when he finish eating, he's going to be more inclined to let, um, and they eat. And then he's like, okay, he walks and he leaves after he's all dead and eaten. That's what the, uh, Russia is. Imagine it like that. And the vultures, they come and say, anything here? Mm, bones, huh? <laughs> That's how it is, my friends. So yeah, and we are gonna do what? They're gonna raise taxes because that's what they do when their incompetence shows. Raise taxes. That's the easiest way. I remember when I was in college here in the United States of America, I, I had a, a guy who was running for office and uh, my political science professor brought the two candidates in, in a class, in class and to ask questions and they were weasels both of them one was more weasel than the other one and the, that guy won just so you know and my question was i said okay you, i waited for all the weasels my colleagues my whatever to ask questions this and this and this and, this. and I, I waited to see if he's going to answer and give me the plan how he's going to take care of us and i asked him a question okay you said this 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 this. how will you do it and he started bullshitting like a politician that he was, is, and will be, and you know, talking. I said, okay, how will you get? And then, oh, and he said, I said, I said, I said, will you raise taxes? Is that how you want to do it? And he he couldn't. Uh, he just snapped. I said, yes, that's what I'm going to. I said, well, I said, I mean, I can do that. Why should I vote for you? I can vote for that guy. He's going to do the same thing. You know, we have no plan. You have no plan. You don't create any business friendly environment here. Nothing. You're just going to tax us. I mean, I can do that. I want to build that. I want to tax everybody. I want to build it. And then you bet you get bankrupt. Well, it's because we build that one. I taxed you the shit out of you. That's not how you do it. Not the, the and then you raise the taxes for the businesses like crazy. They're gonna leave your state. They're gonna leave your city. They're gonna go to the next door where it's more friendly. And they're gonna have uh, uh, people working. They will have more taxpayers. The business will pay. They're gonna build schools. They're gonna build infrastructure. Not you, because you tax the out of them. So nobody wants to stay here. It's just you and your weasels. And you know what you're going to do then? You're going to write a little uh, uh, policy or a mandate and you're going to make everybody give you, give you taxes. Why? Because you can. They're going to dump you taxes from their producers. Is that fair? No. But then you say, we are a community here. I've heard, uh, I heard this over and over again. So everything is going to fall on us and they will solve the problem temporarily by taxing us more and more and more until people will work within the system, right? Yeah, you're gonna go elect people. And it's so corrupt, it's so rotten that it, it, I don't know. I don't know, my friends. Buy a property somewhere, buy a little river if you can, stay over there and plant some corn and some whatever, raise some chicken and a cow and three pigs and I don't know what I was about to say. Uh, because that was that would have been in the context of uh, uh, growing <laughs> and have a wife <laughs> see and live over there and uh, arm yourself in, in case predators will come to get your <laughs> your <laughs> goods and live over there uh, it's just bad uh, not bad it's good but you can't be in the name of justice who say oh, I'm doing fine I'm doing just I'm I'm, I'm okay 
No, no. I mean, you can, but that tells uh, about your, uh, the priorities you have and tells what kind of person you are. I'm a good person, but you all. Is that what it is? Yeah. Basically, there are virtues until it hurts them a little bit. When their interest is a little bit uh, dent, tick, tick, dented, now is the end of the world. That's a mark of a selfish person and a little, small character person. Thank you very much for being with me again today. So my friends in Great Britain, work within the system. <laughs> stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.